Welcome to NHL Draft Pros. In today's video, I'll be doing a scouting report on Marco Casper, and I'll go over some stats and break down game highlights to see what makes him a top-rated prospect for the 22 NHL Draft. Can you please subscribe and hit the like button to help the channel grow? And if you subscribe, you'll be able to join our community, which can be found on the homepage, and it also allows you to participate in our community mock draft. And if you stick around, I'll go through our first three picks posted at the end of the video. All right, back to the video. And today we're going to talk about Marco Casper, who plays in the SHL, even though he was born in Austria. He's six foot one and 183 pounds, and he shoots left and can play either the center or the wing position. He's a feisty little player who likes to get into the action on the ice. If we look at his draft rankings, Central Scouting has him at number five for international skaters, TSM Bob McKenzie at number 17, FC Hockey at 18, Sportsnet at number 14, McKean's Hockey at 15, and Elite Prospects at 17. So his rankings have him sitting right in the middle of the first round. Here's a quote from our buddies over at SwedishProspects.com. Casper is a mature two-way forward working with high intensity. His responsibility all over the ice paired with his skating abilities could have him NHL ready earlier than some of his peers. Next are his stats. So like I said, he played in the SHL for Rogle, and in 46 games, he had 11 points with 7 goals and 4 assists. So not bad for a 17-year-old playing amongst men. If we look at his points per game for the SHL, he is second among draft-eligible players only behind Jonathan Lekromacki, and he had a .24 points per game, and Lekromacki had a .35 points per game. If we compare his points per game to other notable players who played in the SHL during their draft year, we can see that he falls just below Willie Nylander, who had .32 points per game in his draft year, and Lucas Raymond, who had .30 points per game in his draft year. So he's pretty close to those two players. All right, next is video analysis. And as usual, we're going to go through some skating, shooting, passing, puck control, hockey IQ, compete level, and what he needs to improve on. So the first thing we're going to look at is his skating. And you'll notice right away that he is a pretty smooth skater. And like I said before, he is pretty tenacious, likes to skate around and get involved with the play. So Niskop here is going to pick it up in the offensive zone, and he is going to take it for a skate. And he just blows by that one forward, and then the other defense jumps down, and he makes it right past him. So let's watch this in slow motion. So he takes it in, makes a little move at the blue line there, and then skates around. Good skating, good edges, nice and smooth. Next one here, you're going to see he is actually going to chase the puck down here. So he's going to come and pick it up here. Look at that, just flying. And this is against the U.S. Now, these last two clips were from the World Championships against men. So that one there just kicks it off his skate, takes it in for a skate, and then he sets up a play. Good zone entry there. So, All right, so here again, he's going to take it, pass it across, goes back, picks it up here, and then he kicks it up to a skate, and then he takes it in. And like I said, nice control, good edges, nice skating. This one here, we're going to see some edge work. So he's going to pick up the puck in the feet there, and he's going to cut around here, and he's going to take it to the net, and then, whoop, nope, cuts around there, and then he passes it off. So nice little edge work there, and then uh, they end up getting the goal. So good play there. So let's watch this in slow motion. So he picks it up, cuts one way, loses the, def the uh, defender, cuts it again, loses him again, and then opens up a lane and passes it back to the D. And they put it on net and eventually and score. So nice little skating there, good edge work on that one. All right, shooting, boom, there it is. Oh, oh, oh. oh went a little fast there. Let's get that again in slow motion. Here it is, picks it up on the pass, and nice shot, tees it up. Nice little shot. All right, another angle, boom. Yeah, baby. Gotta love it. All right, this one here, you're gonna see this is a nice close up uh, goal right here. Just puts a chop shelf. Wow. So, again, his edge work there, see, cuts it right there, takes it in front, and then puts it right over the shoulder. What a shot. Nice close up here. Watch this, head up, looking for a pass, and then boom, decides I'll just toss it upstairs. Thank you very much. One timer alert. Got the arrow on him. Here it comes. Pass across, and boom, it's in. Now, he scored seven goals for the season, but you know what? He's got to work on his shot a little bit. A little quicker release. So you notice that all those goals were, were uh, slap shots. All right, passing is next. And you know what? Like I said, he's got some pretty good hockey IQ, as you're going to see. This one here is going to take it behind the net, and he's going to see that opening and feed it right in front, and they score. Nice goal there. So watch this again. Head up, head up. Finds a lane, and then... Feeds it right through there, and they score. We're going to see it on a reverse angle here. Yeah, right here. Takes it in. Head up. He sees him. Nice little dish. Nice little finish. What a play. 
Oh, one more. Let's see that. So he's waiting, waiting, and then he just, nice little pass there. So nice heads up play. Again, his head's up. He's always looking around to see what's going on. This one here, you're going to see, he takes it, finds open space, and feeds it across, and they score. So again, slow this one down. So he's bringing the 2D with him there, and then he dishes it off, and they score. Nice goal. This one here is going to be in tight. So he gets the puck, and he tries to squeeze it through, and it actually gets through, and they score. So you're going to see right here. We're going to show a close-up in a second, but he tries to put it through backhand. So a nice little play, reverse. So watch right here in the slow motion. You can see it up close. So he gets it right here, and he tries to squeeze it through, and then he hits it twice, and it finally goes through, and they score. So nice little work there. So he already had pre-planned that, so he anticipated that play, and that's the signs of a smart player. All right, puck control. Watch this little dipsy. Whoa! And a, hey, wow, did he just do that? Watch this in slow motion. So he gets the puck right here, and then he does a little howdy doody right there. Just totally fakes out that forward, and then he's gone. Nice hands. All right, this one here. He's going to pick it up. And this is, again, the World Championships against men. Puts it through his legs and gets a shot on net. Wow. So he's got a little confidence there. I like it. So he picks it up here, one-on-one. -on -one. Nice little move there. And then through the legs and then lets it go on the net, misses the net. Like I said, he's got to work on his shooting, quicker release, hit the net a little bit better. But that's not a problem. All right, this one here up close. So nice control there. This takes a little skill. So watch this. He picks up the puck on the goal line, and then he just quick move and tosses it upstairs. Wow. Oh, a little shootout action. Watch this one. Boop, 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 and it's in the net. And then he goes swimming. Thank you. All right, Hockey IQ. He's a pretty cerebral player. He's always looking around, trying to make it. So this one here sees the um, pressure coming, and then he brings it back, and then he gets the uh, zone exit. So watch this. He sees the pressure, makes a little move, recoups the puck, and then finds the player on the exit nice zone exit there this one here you're going to see he's playing defensively he sees that it's three on two so they got the numbers in the corner there so he decides to cover out front and then when the defense gets back in front then he goes back to his point and then his goalie nice little save there so watch this covers the front of the net saw that the no, no one was there the 2d were behind the net and then he comes back and eventually covers his point and they get a shot in that but nice clear shot for lane so this one here this is the uh, one play where he uh, passes it off. So look at heads up, heads up. He's looking and then dishes it off. Nice goal. So right away from the zone entry, you're going to see that his head's up. And he's already anticipating you know, where to go and what to do, reading the play. All right, compete level. So watch this one here, the arrows on him. He's going to go behind the net. They're going to lose possession of the puck, and he just motors it back. Look at that. And then he uh, covers the middle of the ice, and he takes a little run at this guy. Nice little play there. I love it. You're going to see he's a little workhorse, and uh, he's always buzzing around the, the ice. And look at that one there, just flying. He says, okay, D, you got that guy. I got the trailer. Nice little work there, and then a little body check to finish it off. This one here, he's going to take it in. And most of his goals are in the dirty areas, right in front of the net. And he doesn't have a problem going right to the front there. So this is against men. And, you know, just digging away, and he finally scores. So nice little goal there. So watch this. So it heads right to the net, right to the dirty areas. He's not afraid, like I said. And then gets the rebound, and he scores. So nice little play there. So close up now. We're going to watch this again. So like I said, he's in front of the net there, and then he picks up the puck, and he puts it home. Perfect. All right, this one here, same thing. You're going to see he's a dog on the bone. Boom, dives in to get that goal. He's like, it's mine. All right, so watch this again. So he's fighting in front. They're, they're giving him cross checks in front, and then he just dives in, and he gets the goal. So watch this up close here. You're going to see him in front there, number 24 in the front. The defense just keeps him cross-checking on the back, cross-checking, sees the puck, dives right in and gets the goal. Nice little compete. All right, so a couple things he needs to improve on. So sometimes he's a little lax on the defensive end. So he's got the guy in front there, and then he's just kind of watching and lets him go for two seconds, and guess what? It's in the back of the net. You can never take a second off, and that's it. And then this one here, same thing. He's in front of the net. He's covering a guy. He's 19 white. And then near the end there, he gives him a little cross check because he's kind of mad. So watch this. He's in front, covering a guy, just a light stick on him. and But he gets a rebound, and then he's kind of a little perturbed and uh, gets a face wash. Now this one here is strength. So he's going in to hit the guy, and the guy just pushes him down. That's him on the ice. Let's watch again. So this is, again, the men's world championships, and he gives him a little bump, and he's on the ground. So he just needs to 
you know, get a little bit stronger on his skates. A couple times where he gets pushed off the puck easily, especially against the men. All right, this one here is going to, we're talking about a shot. Like I said, he needs to, you know, get a little bit more accurate, get a little more strength on it. So here, shoots at the net. It's a little wide, it's a little weak. So, you know, that kind of thing can be worked on. Not such a big issue, but you know what? Uh, it might make the difference in terms of, you know, getting more points and stuff like that. So obviously, something that he needs to work on. So, like I said, his strengths, the big thing is his compete, his grit. He's always got his nose in the action, and I love it. And, uh, you know, he's not afraid to go in the corner. He's not afraid to go in front of the net. Uh, his skating and his edges are pretty pretty on point. Um, you know, might need to improve a little bit for the, uh, for the NHL, but pretty good already. He's got a good uh, base. And then puck protection. Like I said, he's got some pretty nice little hands. And uh, a little bit more skilled than some of the other uh, prospects in this draft who are, you know, gritty. So we're going to give him an edge because he's got the grit and he's got the good puck protection, some nice uh, hands. Work on, like I said, the shot, the release, got to get a little quicker, got a little bit stronger, a little more accurate. Uh, nothing that, you know, uh, a little bit of work over the summer can, uh, can, can fix. His strength right now, again, spend sometimes he gets pushed off a little bit, falls to the ground. But, again, something that you can uh, easily work on. And then the defensive consistency, like I said, once in a while, he'll uh, sit back and, and kind of watch, which is common for young players. And that's it. The next video is uh, Denton Matejchuk. A lot of re requests for him. So that's going to be coming up in, uh, in a couple of days or so. And then here's our community uh, mock draft. So as of now, through all the voting, Shane Wright is number one, uh, Slavkovsky is number two, and Logan Cooley is number three. And I'm going to post the next one tonight, and I'm going to drop this video tomorrow. So... Um, People get on there, get voting, because it's going to get interesting now. I think the top three were kind of uh, pretty much set in stone. I think that the rest of the picks now are going to get interesting, so the voting is going to get pretty cool. Please subscribe and like the videos to help us grow, and if there's any players from the 22 NHL draft that you'd like to see a video on, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks and cheers.